everyone welcome back to my channel it has been a while since my last video but now it's summer break and I'm back and I have a lot of videos lined up for this summer so today I have a huge empties reviews on products that I've used up um, in this bag so I'm not gonna waste a lot of time talking let's just go on and dig in and I will show you what I have used up Okay, first is the TIGI uh, Catwalk. This is a violet shampoo fashion fashionista. Um, I it's been it took me forever to use up this product. Um, it's for highlighted blonde hair to help keep it from getting brassy. This is Solomon, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it just keeps the brassy tones out. I will not be repurchasing this though because it doesn't get very sudsy so I feel like um, my hair was not getting as clean with this next is also a shampoo head and shoulders this is a two-in-one um, with the conditioner in it I love head and shoulders I do uh, deal with some dandruff and psoriasis so it really helps me but I will not be repurchasing this with the conditioner in it um, I like just you know the shampoo um, the one I like to use right now is like eucalyptus it's for anti like itching or something so that one there's a really good one the next product is another product I will be uh, repurchasing this is a dr. Teal's soothe and sleep lavender uh, foaming bubble bath it smells so good it's so relaxing and I also um, you know I've repurchased this before so I'll continue to repurchase that along with the Dr. Teal's Lavender Epsom Salts. This is so relaxing if you like baths or you've never gotten into baths and would like to, you know, pick up these and it'll just make you feel so relaxed. Next is a dry shampoo. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I love dry shampoo. I don't wash my hair that often um, because it is uh, dry hair. So um, to keep it healthy and to keep it growing long, I use a lot of dry shampoo. This is the Dove. And I really, really like this. Um, usually I'm a Batiste girl, but uh, you know, the Dove, the Dove worked well for me too. So if um, you can't find Batiste locally where you live, try out the Dove, it's great. Next is the Body Shop uh, Night Lotion. This is a moisturizer for nighttime. It's got the tea tree oil in it to help fight acne and keep um, acne from occurring. It's very cooling on the skin and kind of tingly. I like it. It's very, very expensive. You don't get a lot of it. Um, I will repurchase this in the future if I get tired of using my oils. Right now I'm using rose hip oil and this whole week I've been using coconut oil on my skin for the first time to see how it's reacting and so far so Next good. up I have these Arm & Hammer deodorants. Um, if you have been watching me for a little bit, you know that um, I'm a paraben free gal. I don't like to put anything with parabens in my body because they're toxic. They've been linked to breast cancer. Okay, I've talked about that a thousand times, but these are the best ones I could find in the drugstore that do not contain parabens or aluminum. So um, they smell really good. Even the unscented one has a very fresh kind of almost lemon like scent to it. And then the fresh one here smells good too. Um, you have to reapply them a lot throughout the day though because they're not very long lasting but you know if it's healthier for you overall just put it in your purse and keep reapplying it. Next is a contact solution renew. This is a good stuff. Um, I do think that you know it's worth your money spending the extra for this versus the off brand. Really good contact solution. Next is the beauty blender uh, real techniques. This is a really great sponge but this one just got real dirty and it was really weird because it dehydrated itself up into this little ball and it would not come clean for me i think i just got a bad one but all my other ones that i've owned are really really just a foundation that i've used up oh, this is the Too faced born this way foundation i have mine in the color ivory which i think at the time when this came out this was the lightest color um this foundation was hit or miss with me some days i would love it some days i would not because I didn't feel like it was very long wearing and um, I'm oily skinned normally normal to oily skin and it would just kind of break up around my nose and crease in my forehead and um, yeah I don't know but then on other days it would look very dewy and luminous and gorgeous and I I don't know um, I often mi mixed this with my 
I might have one in here to show you my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and mixing these two was the best ever. It looked so good on the skin, but this is so expensive, I don't know if I'll repurchase it. Went through a box of contacts. I wear the Bosch in Loam Ultra with Moisture Seal contact lenses. I really like these so far. You're not supposed to sleep in them, but I do. I've used up one of my rose hip oils. This is Teddy Organics. I get this on Amazon. Um, if you are interested in trying this, let me know and I'll send you the link in the comment section. Um, but this is this is great for your skin. You can use it in your on your hair, in your hair. Um, it's it's just really, really good stuff. And it's a dry oil, so when you put it on, it sinks in right away. You're not gonna be able to wipe it and feel a bunch of grease on your skin. Keeping with the moisturization, this is something I think I got in an Ipsy, Nourish Organic Pure Hydrating Argan Face Oil. I will not use this again because it made me break out and it was super greasy. Sorry, I keep like looking to the side. There's a uh, a construction worker with his shirt off, just chilling and walking down the road. And I'm afraid he's gonna look at me and think I'm weird for sitting in front of a window talking to nothing. Another moisturizer. If you've seen you know my videos before, you will have noticed that I use a lot of these. This is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap. Again, a cruelty-free, paraben-free. This is great if you have oily, prone skin or acne. Getting hot. Of course, Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is one of my favorite scents. This is wild, sassy, and daring. It's just a very warm, sexy scent in your hair, and it just works amazingly at soaking up that oil in your scalp. <laughs> There's another one. And another one, but this one is in the cool and crisp fresh scent. This one also is a good smell. Clear Care. Uh, this is a peroxide contact solution, so you put your contacts in like this little cage, and you pour this in and it bubbles and just really, really gives it a deep clean and you cannot uh, put your contacts back in your eyes. If you use this, um, you have to wait six hours and then you can put them back in. You don't want to put them in early. I've made that mistake before because it will burn you alive. Don't mistake this for regular contact solution. Also have done that before. Here's another one. It's the Equate brand of this. Um, honestly, I... I don't see too much of a difference in the two here. The optometrist recommends this one is the best one, but I think this one's fine too, you know, if you're on a budget. Body wash. Um, this is the Rich and Fomus. Yeah. By Soap and Glory. This is a great brand. It's a British brand. You can get it at Walgreens or Ulta. I think maybe Target now. I have hair on mine. Um, this one smells really good. It's a warm... It's a warm vanilla, almost like cookies. It smells like cookies. So I used this up this winter because it just smelled more um, like holiday food. And it worked really well. I liked it. I would repurchase it again, and I will. I have another foundation here. I finally used this up. Uh, last summer, I did a first impressions, wear test, review, you know, what have you video. I'll link it down below if I remember in the description box. Um, what I thought of this foundation. This is a great foundation, um, especially for the summer and the range that they have in the shades is really good. Like this one is called Nude Blush. Normally I go for like ivories and like the alabaster pa palest of pale, but this one had like, um, I wouldn't say a pink undertone, but it, it just had like a rosier undertone, which seemed to work well with my skin. And it was very dewy and it made me look so young, which I mean, I am still young, but it made me look younger. Some days I just look at myself and think I look old, but when I wore this, it was great. Here's another foundation. I did not use this up. Um, this used to be my favorite foundation in high school. Great coverage. It's the Revlon Colorstay. I have mine in combination to oily. Um, the reason I repurchased this again after all these years is because it came with a pump which is cool, but when I looked at the ingredients on the label, I thought they took the parabens out of it. It used to be a paraben foundation, and it actually still is, because I was looking in the store again at a different color, and I just, you know, double-checked the ingredients to make sure that they still had parabens taken out of it. Well, they don't, and actually I found it on this label, but it was on the foreign language section. That, and it said parabens. So they didn't put it on the English side, but they put it on like the 
I don't know, it might have been French. Um, so that kind of ticked me off that they were trying to like hide that. Um, and I just don't understand why you would put that formula or that uh, toxic ingredient in, um, in makeup. So this is my new favorite foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This one is in the lightest shade, classic ivory. It's so good, so long wearing. Um, buildable coverage is medium to full coverage. I use this foundation on my brides and makeup clients and I highly recommend it. It's paraben free and um, you can usually get it at Ulta for buy one get one half off. So this is my winter shade and I have it on my face right now in the summer shade 102 which I can't remember what that's called but it's the second lightest shade. Toothpaste, optic white, very good stuff. Keeps your teeth white and I like it. Just, it's really good for your teeth. These are makeup wipes, makeup remover wipes I got from Forever 21 and they're not very good. Um, the, the cloths were small and they were not very um, moisturizing and I just felt like it's just stripped my skin of good oils, if that makes sense. Um, Shea Moisture African Black Soap uh, Toner. This is for problem skin, like acne and oily skin. This is good. This is like my 6,000th bottle of this. I will continue to repurchase it. Highly recommend. This is the L'Oreal Brow Plumper, I think. Brow Stylus Plumper. Um, this lasted me like an entire year, so if you want a good brow gel, this is a good one. I think I got mine in blonde. No, light to medium. So this lasted me a whole year. Definitely worth any money that it is. I don't know, maybe seven bucks. Maybe, I don't know. But this is, this is great stuff. And the wand's a good size too. This is the Lorac Perfection Baked uh, Perfecting Powder in the shade Fair PF1. And it was a really good powder. It covered well. Very soft and creamy. Um, but I am now using the It Cosmetics powder just to kind of compare the two. So I might go back to this. I really liked it. But so far I'm liking my It Cosmetics one too. This is a Smashbox 24 hour uh, photo finish eye primer. Um, it The tube busted on me so all the stuff dried out but it was a really good one. I like it because it's a skin tone color and it's really thick and makes your eyes, um, makes your eyeshadow stay on for a long time. Sorry this is so dirty. This is an Argan oil hair mask and it smelled so good. I think I got it in an Ipsy. Um, it's not got any terrible ingredients in it and I will repurchase it if it's affordable, but right now I'm using a Shea Moisture hair mask that I like and it smells like gingerbread cookies and it's just so good. This is um, Marc Anthony Argan Oil for your hair. I got this free from Ulta one time for buying something and it was good, it smelled really good, but I don't think it's 100% Argan Oil and I just prefer to put something that's pure and 100% in my hair. This is the Pacifica, which is a wonderful brand, you know, Oh, this is a vegan and cruelty-free brand. They do not contain parabens in their products. Um, this is their Kale Detox Face Wash. I liked it. Um, it was very cooling. It's for oily and acne-prone skin types, sulfate-free. But I don't know if I'll repurchase it because I tend to um, get better results with my African Black Soap by Shea Moisture and my Murad Skin Care. This is the Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation. I got this in a free sample last year from Sephora. I think this is in the shade Dynamite. It was a really pale shade, but my goodness, this foundation looked so good on me in the summer. It just made me look so glowy and dewy. I did mix a liquid bronzer in with it whenever I'd wear it because I got it too pale. But um, yeah, I, I would definitely repurchase this if the price is right, which, Probably not because it's expensive. Uh, travel, renew, contact solution. This is Bite Beauty uh, lip gloss in the color Garnet. I got this like in a Black Friday trio one time. It's really good stuff, got great ingredients, but the lid busted on me so the formula kind of dried out. This is a Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer. This is, a, this is the clear one, the original. 
I don't think they make this anymore. It's there's they do something different. So this is old, but it was really good and it did not break me out. So whatever their new one is, I would like to try. It. This is a Aries hand cream in Pompous Sunrise, and it was it was really moisturizing for my hands, and it kind of had a hippie smell to it, but it smelled really good. And I follow them on Instagram. They're a great brand, a great small business company, and I would like to repurchase from them in the future. This is a Wet n Wild Mega Volume uh, Mascara. I didn't really get to wear this much because I opened it and I just kind of let it dry out. So I'm really not sure how good it was. This is another toothpaste. This is the Colgate Optic White. I think it was just the bigger tube than what I had before. I like whitening toothpaste because I drink a lot of coffee. Ooh, this I really liked. This is Ren. Uh, clean skincare ever calm global daily protection cream um, this this was great it smelled good and it was so moisturizing but it sunk into the skin and didn't leave like a greasy film if I can figure out their website I will buy this again if it's not too expensive an African black soap um, for they have like liquids you know tube face soaps but I use their soap bar for the face. I just think it gives me a better clean than the than the scrub that they have. This is a sample size of the fa uh, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, this is really, really good stuff. It smooths out your skin and it makes your foundation stay on forever. I will repurchase it when it comes on sale for like a 21 Days of Beauty. Um, but in the meantime, I'm not going to because it is super expensive. This is a beach salt spray by Coolway. I got it in an Ipsy one time. I don't like it. It dried my hair out. Um, I think there's some other sea salt sprays out there that are more moist, more moisturizing. And I realize sea salt sprays are going to dry out your hair, but I already have dry hair and beachy waves. So maybe I just don't need that product. This I'm not going to open. It's a NYX HD blush in taupe. Um, I use this as a contour I don't have it on today but it's really good if you're fair skinned and you want a contour powder that is not gonna make you look orange or it's too warm that's a nice cool tone that you can use I just wouldn't bronze with it just contour with it and you'll be fine and last product this is a jcat beauty hashtag makeup of the day eyeliner in bronze is that what color it is I don't know yeah bronze and it's terrible because it doesn't even do anything like I just sat there and dug in on my skin and it's not even do anything. This is drier than a desert. So um, so that's it for this ugh, video. And I hope you um, found these opinions on these products I used helpful. So you can determine whether you want to pick any of these up or not. Um, if you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see what I have coming next. See y'all later. Bye.